Hello everyone! In this tutorial we will see how to parse XML file using the Android platform. For this demonstration we will need few things. A database, a PHP script that connects to the database, collects the data, then builds the XML file and finally sends a response. And of course an Android application. So let's see. First thing is to create a database. For me it will be called tutorial number 4. Then create a new table. For this tutorial I'll create the simplest possible table which is a student table. As usual it will have an ID which is the primary key. Then the first name of the student which is in text format and a last name and age. When you are done select the code and keyboard press Ctrl plus enter to execute the code. I already have some data prepared for the inserting so I will just copy it from the clipboard. You can find these imports and other project files in the video description. Ok, so now we have the database. Let's go to the next step. Create a new PHP file. What we immediately want in the start is to connect to the database. So create a new connection variable by using the MySQL connect function. We are using the XAMPP server with default configuration, so we will, so we will simply use a root user with no password. Ok, now prepare a select statement that will get all students from the table. Execute this statement with the MySQL query function. Alright, at this point we need to create the XML structure. XML file starts with this line named prolog which indicates the XML version. It is not mandatory but we should follow the standards. Next XML file must have a root element. We are working with the students database so we will append our XML to the students element. Inside this students element we will add all individual student elements. So first let's check if we got some result from the database. If we actually got the result we will loop through the each row of the table that we got. Each row is actually one student that has some information, first name, last name and age. At this point we can append our XML to the student because we selected one row of our result. Now we must read the columns that we got as a response. For that we can use a for each loop and reference each column with its value. So right now we are going through each column and their values. It's the perfect time to append our XML with that column that is being read as well as with the red value of that column. When we finish reading with one column we must close the tag. After we have read one student, in other words after one row is read, we must close the student tag. And in the end, when each student is appended to the XML, we also must close the root tag, which is, in this case, students tag. Uh, type the header content type to be the text slash XML, because that's how we will get the proper format as a response. And just for the end, echo the XML. Now let's run this script. As you see we get a nice XML response that has all students from the database with their columns and values. 
In the next video we will parse this file in the Android application. So stay tuned. Bye bye.